Uh, here with me right now is Dan Ford, uh, Tangamira, the captain for the Sables team, and he's been the captain for a while. Uh, welcome, Dan Ford, and uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, Dan Ford, you know, uh, you've been an experienced captain yourself. You know, you know the competition that's out there. You know the upcoming games against Namibia and Kenya and so forth. But uh, you know, looking at the past games that you guys have had, and uh, you know, leading your leading your pack, and you know, being uh, up there in the war zone, you know, being a uh, title prop yourself. I mean, uh, what do you what what, what, is, what can you see from your team that you guys didn't have last year that you guys have this year that make this uh, this year's team special? Oh, uh, I think um, I think they said that the difference is that you know the guys are really up for it. I mean, there is there is lots of energy, you know, coming coming in from uh, from from the boys, and uh, you know that's a that's a that's a positive thing. But when there's high energy, you know, in camp and in the team, you know, it, it always brings a uh, uh, positive result. Not just in terms of you know winning games, but in terms of you know creating the atmosphere for for, for rugby. And uh, you know, at the moment, even the sessions that we've gone through, you know, they've been tough. But boys have just been pushing, you know. And even when they're tired, that we've just been been pushing. We've worked so hard, and uh, you know, which is which is something positive. And uh, yeah, you know, the boys are also looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, uh, as you said, you know, the boys are really excited about this game and, you know, they're really positive. I mean, you guys were in Senegal just a fortnight ago and you guys were, you know, had a rocky start in the game, you know, you know, wow, because of the harsh conditions and, you know, as people were saying that Senegal was, you know, a bit dirty in playing, but, uh, you know, you guys managed to then get the victory come second half, you know, making the game a story of two halves. And uh, how did that game feel for you uh, going into the motion? You know, you said yourself that you, you, need, you guys needed to stay calm and, and play your guys' game and your structure that you guys worked on, and uh, you know, in this preparation coming for the game to Namibia, yeah, you think that you guys will be able to uh, keep on going? Yeah, uh, I mean, like, like like I said, you know, before, um, you know, it's it's always a, a difficult one when you go out there and play in those yeah. harsh conditions, and also when you're playing guys who are, you know, doing all sorts of things, you know, <laughs> off the boy, off the ball stuff, and all that. But all, all we need to do is, you know, just to to remain focused and know why why we were there in Senegal. We did not go there to, you know, to be part of those, you know, of the ball incidents. But we wanted to get the the five points in the bag, and you know, we we managed to do that. All all we said uh, at halftime was, guys, listen, look, we can do better than this. At the moment, we are playing like them. And that's why we we not scoring. And after that, you know, the guys kind of you know calm down. Yeah. And then from there, you know, we had to fight hard to actually get our, our structure going. Although it was still difficult, yeah. but we managed to score the um, the tries and, and, and get the, the bonus points. And uh, going going into Namibia's game, you know, it's always a tough battle. Yeah, the, you know, the physicality and the, the intensity is just uh, you know a level up. Yeah. And uh, you know what I would say from our previous games, you know the scores did not really reflect, you know okay. how we played uh, against Namibia, and we always do well our uh, first half, but second half that's when we we always come short. I think it, it comes back to you know the conditioning aspect of it, and um, you know I'm not I'm not trying to give an excuse, but you know it's something that we. We have to be aware of, so we we have to dig deep to make sure that we try and play 80 minutes. minutes that we are. Yeah, and with that, you know, with the preparations coming into this year against Namibia, you know, are you really pleased with the preparations that you guys have had and are going to have covered with a couple of days left before the game? I would, I would say, you know, it's, it's not really what I would have wanted, you know. Okay. But I would say definitely better than our previous uh, preparations. Yeah. Uh, I think we've had more time and uh, we've got guys, I mean, who, who are here for the game as well, you know, um, Andrew Rose, um, Jabulo, um, we've got the, uh, the young, exciting uh, corner creatures. Um, yeah, I mean, we. I mean, we've, we, I think we've got we've got a decent squad to to actually get us the the result that, that we need. But uh, at the end of the day, it's how we are how we are going to apply ourselves um, against Namibia. I mean, we know it's always 
it's always a tough one, but I mean, this time around, we want to go that extra mile to make sure that we push them to the to the limits, and we want to challenge ourselves as well to make sure that we play for 80 minutes, not to play for 50, 60 minutes, or to play for for 80 minutes. So yeah, I mean, that's that, that, that's our challenge for. Oh, no. yeah. uh, Alright, uh, thank you so much Jeffers for uh, joining us here and uh, we'd really like to uh, you know, wish you guys good luck in your game against Namibia and the games to come in the tournament and uh, we'll be watching here and supporting, so you know, go Sables! Thank you very much, <laughs> thank you very much.